Seven months and one day after the October 2017 wildfires erupted in Sonoma County. We were 99% complete as of today. Having removed 2.2 million tons of debris, which equates to nearly 314 square miles of fire area that's been cleared. A momentous update given the magnitude, complexity, and self-imposed time frame for the debris removal process. From the beginning of this very catastrophic, very devastating event, the response has been a one team, one fight effort. A similar accomplishment and announcement the very next day in Ventura County. The county, the city, the state, and the federal resources all coming together as a team and fighting back. And the, the cooperation was seamless. We moved more than 18,000 firefighters through our, our fantastic mutual aid system uh, and all other kinds of assets to roll into uh, and try to minimize the overall losses, but there were losses. The ferocity and unstoppable nature of these fires and the debris flows that followed in Santa Barbara created a cleanup and recovery challenge not seen in California since the 1906 earthquake. Combining the accomplishments of the debris removal projects from the Northern and Southern California wildfires, teams have removed a total of nearly four and a half million tons of debris from 5,221 parcels. It took seven months. Huge efforts working with local public works, county offices to get uh, a mud debris moved out, get Highway 101 open, working with Caltrans. Monumental job. So the tubs and other fires in the north. We want to celebrate what we've been able to achieve, but we also want to assure the people that we serve that we will continue to advocate for them, that we will be there for them. The Thomas Fire in the south. 40 days this fire burned, and the destruction that it laid in its wake was absolutely unimaginable. Uh, the work that was done by our first responders, our government agencies, was nothing less than extraordinary. This is government at its finest. Historic wildfires in nearly every way and historic debris removal efforts to go with them. I want to thank uh, all of those parties, people behind me, but more so really right down to the local levels and the opportunity to work with the public works people in Santa Barbara and in Ventura and the city and their representatives. Because without those solutions coming up from the bottom up, uh, again, we wouldn't be as successful as we are now. Moving forward, after the debris has been cleaned up, we're going to still continue to remain here through the process of helping our communities rebuild. Visit our online newsroom at oesnews.com to learn more about this program and get the latest news and information from our team. Don't miss our next video on your Facebook timeline. Like our page and you'll get the latest posts as they happen. If you're an Instagram user, you can see the latest snapshots by following our Cal OES Instagram account. And Twitter users can get instant access to our tweets from across the state by following Cal OES.